Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Mail call and today I received from Salvino JR Models my kit of the month and a couple of 2022 NASCAR next generation Camaros, the rollout liveries. Uh, I know there have been a ton of box openings, kit reviews, and even a couple of really nice builds I've seen uh, on YouTube. But I want us to look at something from my perspective anyway that I think is, is pretty important. And we'll take another overview of the kit itself as well. So stick around. Let's have some fun with it. Hey guys, before we get started, uh, all the shop cards and the decals were shipped today with the exception of just a few, so you ought to see those things um, probably by the first of the week. And for you guys in Canada, Europe, New Zealand, and Australia, I don't know how your post works, so it may take a little longer for those, so be patient with those. Uh, okay, let's get over to this next gen. Now, most of you know that I'm an old-school NASCAR guy. I love the Winston Cup era and into the mid, back to the mid-60s before that. But I have been fascinated by this car. My first NASCAR mechanics license I got in 1977, and that's the era I knew and was familiar with. And I honestly wasn't all that that hip on these new cars however i was fascinated by what they were doing and wanted to learn the technology so before these came out i started getting online and looking and seeking magazine and and articles that i could find that told about these things the new technologies why they were doing it and all that stuff and being fair now while the winston cup era is still my all-time favorite and probably always will be um i gotta admit these new cars are, are kind of cool. They're kind of cool. And I want to give a shout out to, to Jim. I, I know he had the CAD files and, and he had to scale everything. And let me tell you guys, there's a lot of work in that. But something I was impressed with, uh, anytime I get a new kit, I like to sit down with the instruction sheet and really read everything and go through every page and familiarize myself with the kit and... The first thing that, that jumped out to me was how comprehensive it is. It's a really great instruction sheet. Um, in my careers, I have drafted both illustrations and text for instruction manuals, booklets. And let me tell you, that is a lot of work. So, Jim, kudos again, brother. This is a very comprehensive, very easy to follow uh, instruction booklet. Um, my hat's off. There's some great stuff in here. I'll point out some stuff. But guys, there's a lot of work that goes into this. Yes, tons of work go into scaling and transferring the information over. But this is a lot of work too. And uh, I, I was really impressed with... Uh, the instruction sheet not only do you have the tools that you need and a lot of a lot of companies have this stuff but you have in different colors you'll notice the kind of gray on the letters there so it, that's transferred over to the uh, the uh, parts list as well but this is really really a great instruction sheet um, Going back to it, the engine, based on the in information I could find of the modern engines, the, the throttle bodies, the injections, this is some really good stuff. And I love the way the, the belt system works, um, the lower diffuser, um, the air diffuser, the belly pan, or the, the bottom tray of the car. Uh, based on what I have been able to, to research and find, and I'm going to throw up some pictures here as we go along and just of things that I've seen. There's no way I could put all the pictures and all the information that I have gathered in research up because they're just, you wouldn't see any video because it'd be all pictures. But everything about the instructions are very, again, clear and concise um, all the way through. Great text, great expl explanations on about everything that uh, that Jim did. And this is just awesome. And of course, when you got the CAD files, how can it be wrong? And as much as I love research, the research was done. Um, so this is some really great stuff. 
And uh, of course, there's a lot of changes made to the cars this year too. And I want to brag about the, let me find a place to put these. Here we go. I want to brag about the molding here a little bit. There, there's obviously the mold lines and things that you can't avoid uh, here and there, here and there that, that just are pretty simple to remove, but they're not really that distinct. So it, it'll be easy to remove, but I've been really impressed with this. I'm thinking about doing a show car. So I'll probably remove, as it, as it says for the rollout car, remove uh, the cameras and antennas, stuff like that. And I may even fill in uh, all of this up here and replace it with uh, with decals. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. It's going to depend on what I'm going to do for this show car. I've got something in mind. And I'll probably open these exhaust ports. But I want you to look at how crisp that detail is there. And, and here's another thing. The vents... I'm hoping you can, let me get a different color here. I'm hoping you can see that is, uh, these vents are open on both sides. On the underside, you've got the, um, the escape hatch uh, lever there, all of that. This is, just, this is really well executed. Um, hood fits beautifully. Just a mean looking little rascal too. Uh, something I noticed that, that really impressed me, too, were the tires. Now, <laughs> these are a low-profile tire, and this is the NASCAR tires from the 24th scale. Uh, let me get these out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me there, man. Um, they're the same diameter. This is from the NASCAR monogram uh, kits in 24th scale, and you'll notice here that is the same profile as far as the height well not profile but the the height of the tire is the same it's uh, about the same size with the exception of the width and of course the newer tires went to a lower profile but they went to a wider tire and so what I did is I had a stack sitting on the bench here of the 24th scale NASCAR tires from, uh, actually, this is from a, a Lumina, or excuse me, a, uh, oh, it was a Lumina, it was a Lumina, sorry about that, and these are from the new kit, and as you can see, big difference there, and you can also just stack them up here, I don't know if you'll be able to see that side by side. But uh, some of the, the things that they've made changes in, and here, let me take that down where you can see that a little better. Uh, big difference. Big difference. But some really great research that went into Jim Kudos for all of this stuff. If I can get this thing back here right. Um, but interesting stuff and let's take a look at some of the other stuff the uh, greenhouse which had the um, the more airflow well I don't want to say more but the different airflow type uh, cabin where you have the open and look how crisp that is around there no flash up in there this is really a cool cool kit and how it escapes back here all of the clear parts are crystal I mean, really, really nice. And I'm going to put these back in here so they don't get scarred or scratched up. Like I said, I'm thinking about a, um, a really cool kind of little uh, show car. And all the parts here, again, check out those wheels. Is that not beautiful? I still have a, a, I guess it's just the old school part of me, but I still have a little issue with, with one lug, more like the, the F1 and the other stuff. The, And I, I understand for the safety reasons why they did it, but uh, if there's five lugs on my car, I want to take five lugs off of a race car. <laughs> and again, that's just old school stuff. Uh, nothing wrong with it, but it for safety reasons, I know why they did it and I understand that. But aren't those, look at look how crisp that is. That is some cool stuff. Great window net. Um, 
really 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 good stuff this uh, lower pan diffuser look at the engraving in that right down to the rivet marks everything everything is right there great seat with all the detailed materials there and of course the white which is the um, interior roll pan all that stuff now when i started uh our teams the red cars had the red interior and the black cars uh had the black interior um whatever was on the outside we pretty much ran on the inside um but this is this is really some good stuff very clean very clean and i have to admit i kind of look forward to actually getting into one of these I uh, don't know when I'll do it, but I, I, I've already told you guys kind of what I wanted to get done this year. And I want to try to stick on that, but this is calling to me already. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, just great job. Great job, Jim. And, of course, here's our metallic colors. And I, I'm one of those guys that it doesn't matter what color any of this is in. I'm going to paint every stick in here i'm going to remove it and i'm going to paint every single thing but the fact that uh for a beginner this is awesome this is awesome because you have your basic colors there and if you want to touch up or do a wash here and there that'd be great um that's not me anymore but i think if going back to the beginning i would probably really enjoy the fact that they're like this but really good stuff great break detail too there Okay, and the engine. I love detailing and doing engines. So uh, I've got a lot of uh, research material on that already, and I, I really look forward to, to when I do get to this. But that is really some nice stuff. Um, overall, I, I think this is just an outstanding, outstanding kit. Um Again, I'm, I'm old school, so I, I probably will always stick. I, I'll do more of those than I'll ever do these new cars. But I tell you what, to get people into the hobby, whether they get into racing or not, the fact that you have something like this that is, that is this level of detail, this is some good stuff, guys. This is some great stuff. I definitely will do one. I, like I said, I have a show car in mind that I would like to do with a fantasy paint job on it. And um, something really cool. And hats off, guys. Uh, this is just, if you haven't picked up one of these yet, I highly recommend it. I mean, check that profile out. This is just a really cool, cool car. Um... Guys, thanks so much. I appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, head over, hit that subscription button. Um, hit the notification bell so you don't lose out on any upcoming content. And I've been telling you for eons that we're going to be getting that uh, gasser update. And I got a lot to cover on it because there's a lot been done. Um, just been busy, 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 busy on other things. But my bad. We'll make up for it. Thanks so much. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.